Asi, and there's a number of issues that have not gone the governor's way. No, Ryan Elijah joining us now from Studio B. He's got a look at what that might mean going forward with a special guest. Of yes, course, Ryan. we still have our special guest, Mike Herodopoulos, of course, the former Senate president. Mike, good to see you. Good for sticking around. We know the governor wanted some things to go a certain way. Visit Ford is a great example. That number is not what he wanted it to be. Yeah, it's very shocking to see that the governor did not get his way. As you know, he is known as the jobs governor since he's been governor. Over 1.3 million new jobs. It's been a signature issue. He really believes and visit Florida as the tourism numbers as we've seen have gone up dramatically to about 120 million a year. It's pretty surprising the legislature did not give him his way and get him his 75 million for it. And you talked a little earlier on our Facebook Live that his pen is going to come out here, the veto pen. How much power does he have to change some of these things and move them in a different direction? It's a very big deal. The governor has the final say in the budget, so a lot of those line item videos that individual legislators want, be the House members or Senate members wanted, those might go by the wayside right now. And the odds of overcoming a good Gubernatorial veto are very low. In my t uh, 12 years in the legislature, only one time did we ever override wow. a governor's veto, and that was when Charlie Chris, the unpopular governor of Florida, was in power. That, that was the only time. Let's talk about school funding and charter schools. That became a big topic as well. Yeah, this was a big issue for Richard Corcoran. He's the Speaker of the House of Representatives. The charter school issue is where if there's a D or an F school, meaning a poor performing school, they're allowed to bring in a charter school, another public school, to try to change up the system. They've allocated 200 million dollars to try to do that to turn around failing schools. Lake Okeechobee, the final one we touch on here? Yeah, this is Joe Negron, the Senate President. He wanted to make sure we solve that problem with the runoffs. We saw a terrible issue over in his part of the net woods and Stewart. He got the funding for it to build a reservoir. Hopefully that will solve the problem. This is it. Final week in Tallahassee. The budget's got to be there tomorrow. What do you see? Any surprises maybe in store? Well, I think the great news is they're finishing on time yeah. and they're not raising taxes, not even property taxes. So for taxpayers, it's a win. Let's hope this economic upturn continues, but there's going to be still a fight between the legislature and our governor. Interesting. We can tell us, and you'll be there all week as well. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. My great stuff as always. Thanks, and of course, Ryan. you can find us on our Facebook post. Friday ends it all, and it looks like they will end on time. Let's go to Jamie King. He's got